Good morning folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering and Happy New Year, seeing that it's New Year's Eve. Today, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to do these cracks here. I get a lot of calls, especially in the third year of recession now, uh, not for large jobs, but for small jobs. Uh, I tell folks all the time, <clears throat> best thing to use on cracks here is just um, this simple stuff. It's acrylic latex and it got a little bit of a silicone in it. Um, what I generally use for my stucco trades are this uh, Sikaflex and this NP1. Both of them are polyurethanes, but <clears throat> polyurethanes, you can't really paint. They're, it's better than this right here, but you can't paint it, so it's kind of useless for what we're doing here. Silicones. Don't use a silicone either because the silicone will fill this and won't shrink as much as this. But if you use the silicone, you can't paint that either. It's silicone's great for a fish tank, but it's uh, not real great for this. Now, what I did is I cut my tip just shy of a sharp. That way, what I want to do is I want to go in the crack, not just on the surface. I want to go inside the crack. And I'll show you how to match this texture. By the way, this texture is a float finish. And somebody came around and did a text coat over that with acrylic sand because obviously the house was leaking and this is a pretty large crack here but this large crack is going to continue to come back and that's only because we're on a huge hill if uh, we were to shoot down you can see we're on a huge hill we got tree roots everywhere so I'm going to temporarily fix this crack and it'll probably last five to ten years but it will come back anyhow uh, and if I use stucco to fix this crack it's just going to pop back off in, oh, I'd say a matter of uh, six months. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to fill the crack. Now what I want to do is get inside the crack. I want to fill it completely full, not just on the outside. And if you get it just right, it takes a little bit of time. Just squeeze it in there. And don't worry about the excess coming off and going to the sides because we're going to deal with that in a few minutes when we go to do the texture. A lot of ways to do the texture also, but I'll show you the simplest way. Okay, we're just we're squeezing this caulking right inside that crack. A lot of people call me and say, hey, come and do it, and I tell them, gee, you don't need me. Here's how to do it. The majority of people still say, oh, I'd prefer you to do it. So I thought if I showed folks they get an idea. It's not that complicated. And some of these larger ones like this guy here, remember we go in the crack. I'm holding the tube right next to it and filling it. Next I'll use my finger just to make sure I get it in there pretty tight. So I get it like that. You can tear your fingers up doing this, but trying to make a point here, just use my finger. And I have the luxury of, if I like, to throw a little bit of sand on that, but I'm not going to do that. This is a very heavy sand finish. I'm going to take this sponge float and just kind of dab it now. Just like that. Now this, lat this latex here, it does tend to shrink up just a hair. And that's why I squished it inside the joint. A lot of people will put it on the outside and not get it real deep in the joint. Get it deep in the joint. That way when it dries, it doesn't shrivel up too much. And you'll have to redo it. This is not the best caulking in the world for this, but it's the one I prefer. They actually have a 25-year uh, caulking, but it's usually for interiors. Uh, this stuff here is like $3 a tube. This stuff here is about $5 to $8 a tube, but again, you can't paint it, so uh, this is this is what I prefer. And you just, the sponge kind of brings the aggregate out or bring, you just kind of dab it like that. And when this is painted, you never even know. They have clear, they have white, they have all different colors, but they're gonna paint this anyhow, so no need using a clear. You never can figure out why, why to use a clear. But there you have it, guys. It's, it's pretty simple stuff. I'm here to do a little bit of stucco work, so I tell the folks, oh, I'll fix those cracks for you for nothing. But hopefully you can do this too. And again, I hope everybody has a happy new year. And we'll see you on the next one. Again, this is Kirk. 
protrudontal plastering for those of you who want to do it but simply don't know how, don't get any easier than this. Bye-bye.